Our brain is made up of neurons and our neurons form networks. So the neural network. So these networks define how our brain functions. So we have our neurons, which are our, the cells that create our brain, all wiring up in different ways. And because they wire up in different ways, some of us are good at certain things, some of us are good at other things, etc., etc. So they define us. So here's um, an, an image of the neural network as it defines itself um, in uh, early childhood development. So we have like 36 weeks gestation. We have a newborn baby. We have three months. We have the jump from three months to six months. And then we have like the two year mark. So you can see at the two year mark, the brain is saturated with interconnections. So around that age, we're, we're starting to master language. And um, I, I've, I've heard that um, you know, a child can learn any number of languages if they're exposed to them around that age. So if you've got people around them speaking lots of different languages, they'll pick them all up. And that's because of this massive web of interconnection that they have in their brain. If you wait a few years after that two year mark, it gets harder and harder and harder because there isn't that massive integrational process. And then you can see from four years to six years, the brain starts pruning. So the dendrites, which are the wires that, con that connect the neurons together, they start pruning back. And then what happens is we become more rigid and defined. So as those neurons pr prune back, we start to have these definite pathways through our central nervous system, through our brain. And those pathways define us. They define our habits, our actions, our behaviours, our thoughts. They're all defined by the geometry of our neural network. And there, here it is, the neural network. So the little lights are symbolic of the nerve impulses traveling through the network. And these are the dendrites, the things that are getting pruned. So, so as we develop our habits and behaviors, our neural network becomes more defined to reflect them. The dendrites that we're not using, so the little wires in our brain that we're not using just fall away. And the ones that we are using become bigger and stronger and more defined. It's like a, I guess a track that's used becomes like rutted, while a track that's disused gets overgrown. So when we want to learn something new, get rid of an old habit or behavior that we don't like, or define new habits and behaviors that would improve our quality of life, then we need to develop the dendritic pathways. And so the process of rewiring the brain is known as brain plasticity. So that's the brain's capacity to redefine itself. So up until relatively recently, uh, neuroscientists were saying, no, the brain doesn't grow. But they've shown in, you know, in the last decade and a half that the brain can regrow. And we can redefine who we are, redefine how we operate. The only way that we can do that, however, is by doing something different. So the neural network redefines through action. So if we want to develop a certain skill, we need to labor through that skill that we want to develop day in, day out, repetitively, so that we build that network. If we just sit on our butt and go, I want to be different, I want to be different, I want to be different, but we don't take action, then the neural network doesn't remold. So it's how we direct ourselves and drive ourselves to develop new skills that changes our brain. Because the old neural network is predefined, so it's very easy to just follow an old habit. Very easy. It's like the path of least resistance. Because there's a big network in place already. If we want to go that way instead of follow that path, there's a lot of resistance. So we don't find it easy because the dendrites aren't there to drive the behavior. So the brain tissue and the dendrites need to grow for the new skill to develop. And the reason they grow is because we're practicing where our deficiency is that we want to develop. With brain plasticity in kinesiology, it's always good to remember that a chain is as strong as its weakest link. What this means is we get maximum gain from developing our weaknesses. We don't get maximum gain from developing our strengths. So if we develop 
out a strength that we already have by 5%, we might get 5% improvement in our performance in our life. But if we develop one of our key weaknesses by 5%, we might get 180% improvement in the quality of our life. So it's our weaknesses that hold us back. And humans will always use and display their strengths. So whatever we're good at, we use. Whatever we're bad at, we hide. We'll use things that we shouldn't to fix things that we should be doing in another way, which reduces the efficiency of how we run our lives. So when we strengthen the things we're not good at, our life improves so much. But it also means it's hard for us to change. And the reason is because we feel incredibly vulnerable around our weaknesses as humans. So when we're not good at something in school, which I know all very well, when we're challenged in certain ways, we feel very vulnerable. And a lot of our emotions and insecurities come up when we're put into that zone of trying to improve the things that we're not good at. We can only change the neural network by doing something different. So many emotional issues will rise to the surface when we actively redefine our lives. So when we kind of go into our weaknesses and try and develop them through practice, a lot of our emotional vulnerabilities will come to the surface. So a lot of our issues will come up. So kinesiology releases the emotional blocks and the energy blocks that hold us back from actively redefining our neural network. Once the kinesiology is applied, we remove the emotional vulnerabilities. We release the blocks, we process the energy and emotion around it, and then we're free to then redefine our brain. So it makes us much easier to practice new things, develop new skills. Um, and so we apply this within the context of the program. So as you're learning the program, this technology gets um, expressed within it.